I wanted to go ahead and explain why I got a new car. Um, and that's because uh, the Mustang was having many issues, uh, overheating, the radiator fan stopped working on me at first. So for the past couple weeks I've been dealing with an overheating issue. And now it just finally overheated on my way to work, so I had to buy some coolant because it dripped all over the ground. So I don't know what's going on. I recently replaced the fan. The fan is working now. It was not before. It's a better fan. It's a stronger fan. It still hasn't seemed to fix the issue. I also replaced the thermostat, changed it for a uh, 160 degree thermostat, but we're running at 192, which I'm not sure what we should be running at, but. I figure the radiator is not strong enough, but at the same time, I overheated on my way to work without the air conditioning on, and it was like 90 degrees. So I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's my. It could be the cap that's old, and it could also possibly be the thermostat. Something's wrong with the thermostat. I'm, I'm not sure, but it's really frustrating, and I'm over it now. You know, this Arizona heat, it, unfortunately, it kills everything out here. It's just really intense, and then I can't, you couldn't drive the car to its limits or anything like that. Well, you could, but then you probably risk uh, blowing a damn thing up. So I wasn't, I wasn't having any fun with it. You know, I was just cruising back and forth to work, hardly on it, going real slow, watching my temperature gauge. It just was not a lot of fun. So I needed to buy a new car. So without any farther delay, let's go ahead and reveal the new car. Your car is a piece of shit. Both of them. That's right, I bought a 2007 Nissan Altima and it's actually the inline four on top of that. Now I bet this is a little bittersweet for some of you. Uh, what this means is I'm gonna continue to build the three valve. If you still wanna see me continuing to build the three valve and make it fast and uh, really represent that uh, three valve community, well, it's going nowhere. And I also imagine many of you realize that a cammed supercharged three valve is not the best daily driver. And you would be right. I only get about 14 miles a gallon. I can't really get on it on the way to work, especially with summertime in Arizona. We're talking 110 degree ambient weather, which is absolutely terrible for the car. I don't wanna even touch into boost there. So as far as content goes for the channel and with this car, uh, you're probably not gonna see much content on it. And that's for good reason, because you're not gonna wanna see much content on it. Now I do plan on doing a couple things to the vehicle, only to help teach myself a couple things. Now if you notice, um, I bought the car really cheap, so you know it's a nice daily driver that I didn't put too much money into. But if you notice, it's actually got the paint faded on a couple spots. So what I plan on doing is I actually plan on trying to uh, practice some of my wrapping skills on the, uh, the hood, the, the roof, and the trunk here. That way, maybe someday in the future when I'm confident enough or I'm good enough at wrapping, I can wrap my Mustang in a different color because I've always wanted to do that. That being said, the first mod coming to the car though, it's a big old wing. So while I'm here, I might as well update you a little bit on the Mustang right now. Uh, I recently replaced the radiator fan and I also replaced the thermostat for a 160 degree thermostat and I'm still having overheating issues. I actually overheated in a Taco Bell drive through in which I had to get out of my vehicle and push it out of the drive through because it was spewing coolant everywhere. Uh, the drive through lady, she <laughs> closed the window real fast because I guess she thought I was going to come in and rob her or something. <laughs> Are you serious? So yeah, that was a really, uh, that was a really sucky morning. I had to go to work too and I got there like 30 minutes late and stuff. So not a very fun morning. I do have an all aluminum two row radiator sitting at my parents' house. Uh, this is at my apartment complex, but sitting at my parents' house and so is the car in their backyard. So this weekend I'm gonna go ahead and install that new radiator and hopefully that takes care of all the overheating issues. I'm also gonna run uh, 
like an 80-20 water to coolant ratio because I hear that might help it too. But with all the cooling upgrades that we've recently done to the car, it should run fantastic now in this weather. I'm still not gonna beat on it in the middle of the day. We're probably gonna wait more towards nighttime, but we're gonna get some more racing content. We're gonna get some more install content, especially since I'm gonna be saving money every month with this uh, new Altima here. I'm probably only gonna spend like 150 bucks on gas instead of like 350, 400. So the car is eventually gonna pay for itself which is fantastic. So I hope you guys are excited for more Mustang content coming soon. And I didn't give up on you. I didn't give up on you, 3Valve community. So I know I led a bunch of you guys on, made you all excited, like, oh my God, he bought a new car, what do he buy? Did he buy a ZL1, the Hellcat, Corvette? And then I <laughs> reveal that it's just a, a freaking Altima. But I hope you understand I'm a bit of a troll and uh, <laughs> I wanted to mess with you guys a little bit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to me if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys later. Wow, you just sit on it. <laughs>